I built my desk to fit my personal needs. Here's my clip that holds my current things to do. Here's my fold-down storage unit that gives me more desktop space and still holds a checkbook or things I may want to put in it. You can see that it takes up very little space and folds back against the unit. I made a pull-out stapler and pull punch. Uh, lets me use it and then it slides right back in out of the way. But it's always there and ready to use. About a year ago, I purchased the Fujitsu ScanSnap iX500 scanner. It's a color scanner and it is fast and absolutely gives me no trouble at all. And it's really good. Best scanner I've ever owned. You can see I'm scanning a test sheet to show you the scan that uh, it immediately puts up on the screen. And of course it lets me print it to a color printer. In this case, I'm printing it to a black and white printer printer is located on a shelf kind of high above me which uh, you'll see I have to reach up to get a copy of the, of the print job and of course it is a black and white so I didn't print it to a color printer but this gives you an idea of where that printer is located for a long time. These are four slide out shelves that I made at the desk to hold folders, extra paper, paper clips, uh, staple remover, uh, pens, Market. And it's very convenient, they stay right in place and don't take up any desktop space. These are my two Windows PCs. They're both Windows 10, the one on the left is my primary, and the one on the right is my backup. This is my two-line phone system, uh, which I mount vertically so it doesn't take up any desk space. I have two label printers. The one on the left is a Seiko 440 and it prints address labels, narrow address labels. And the one on the right is a Brothers Wi-Fi printer, which all the PCs and my Mac can print to wirelessly. Instructions to my gate camera on top of the phone. When someone pushes the button at the gate, any TV set in the house will immediately have a picture of who is at the gate. My main computer, it's a Mac Pro. And I have a uh, Promise Pegasus 10 terabyte external hard drive with uh, hot swap drives in it. Four external drives. Uh, I have three 8 terabyte drives and one 4 terabyte drive, along with a uh, fourth generation Apple TV hooked up to that Mac Pro. This is my storage space for my iPhone which holds it so I can read it and charges it at the same time. Comes in handy, except I always forget where I've left my phone. Alongside of my computer, I keep an old iPad always going, a scanner radio, a weather radio, shortwave radio, and marine radio. Uh, and switch the antenna over to whatever I need it for. This is my weather forecasting radio, and this is my marine radio, and up above I've got a Grundig uh, satellite uh, 750 radio, and this of course is my, uh, my iPad. My main color printer is a Canon Pro 100 uh, wide carriage printer. And that's what I use mostly. These are some drawers I have built into the desk and of course I always keep a lot of odds and ends so I can make a small fix or repair to anything I need electrically there. And I put in two separate drawers for tools, uh, crimpers, uh, measuring tape, things I would normally need but not uh, have to go out to the shop to get. And in this drawer, same thing. I've got drill bits uh, and pliers. Underneath, I've got an electric drill. On the other side, I have a soldering iron. And of course, uh, containers with other things, adapters and micro tools. I store all my cables hanging right next to the computer. 
One of my favorite features of my Mac Pro computer is a second video port that supports two high definition monitors. The advantage of a second video port, it lets you put whatever you want on the screen, like this is my email, and I transfer it over to the other screen, and can open up a second website or second application. And this is uh, coming up Google Earth, uh, Google Drive rather. And now Google search engine's up. And now I just launched, uh, believe Facebook is coming. There's Facebook. And the final one, or the next to final one, I, there's Amazon. And here comes Home Depot. So basically what I have are six different screens, all on, uh, all six different websites, all on two screens. And I can maneuver them back and forth and bring up the one I want. And they're all right there, real handy just to click on. Now you can see I'm removing uh, these one at a time. I can also resize them, place them wherever I want the screen, have three or four websites all on one screen, slide them over to another screen if I need a full screen. And when I'm all done, just close them all and get right back to the normal screen I started with. Just as you can keep multiple active programs and websites on either monitor, you can also open all of your internal and external hard drives and switch, copy, or delete any files between these drives. Here you can see I've got all six drives opened on one screen. Uh, that's the main computer internal hard drive, the Pegasus hard drive, and drives one, two, three, and four external hard drives. Now I'm shifting them over to different screens. I can reduce the size, reshape the window, and copy files back and forth, or delete files as needed from either any of the drives. And now I'm getting rid of the last of the drives and we're back to the desktop. 